हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर टेन ट्राइंगल्स एक्सरसाइज टेन पॉइंट थ्री टिल क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन वी हैव डन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इन अ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी ए बी एंड ए सी आर टू इक्वल साइड्स डी एंड ई आर द पॉइंट्स ऑन साइड ए बी एंड ए सी सच दैट बी डी एंड ई सी आर इक्वल देन वी हैव टू शो द ट्राइंगल डी बी सी एंड ट्राइंगल ई सी बी आर द कॉन्ग्रेंट ट्राइंगल second thing we have to show angle dcb is equal to angle ebc and third we have to show ob is equal to oc so first we will take these two triangle and we will show that these two triangles are congruent so in triangle dbc and triangle ecb first of all bc is common here for both the triangle second this bd is equal to CE. Here we'll write the reason common, and here it is given in the question. Third, we will take angle B is equal to angle C because AB is equal to AC. These two sides are equal, so their corresponding angles also will be equal. So therefore, by we have taken this side. Angle and side, angle side angle side rule. Triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ECB. Therefore, by CPCT we can write remaining corresponding parts will be equal. By CPCT we can write here second part. Angle DCB is equal to angle EBC. For the third part, we will take only this triangle in triangle OBC because angle DCB. DCB we can write it as OCB also because this is the same angle. OCB is equal to OBC. These two angles are equal. It means these two side will be equal. So we can write. Therefore, OB is equal to OC. Next we have question number twelve. ABC is an isosceles triangle in which AB and AC are equal. These two sides are equal. P is any point in the interior of triangle ABC such that angle ABC P and angle AC P are equal. Prove that BP is equal to CP and AP is the angular bisector for angle BAC. So first we will take these two triangle angle A triangle ABP and triangle ACP. In these two triangle, first of all AB is equal to AC. It is given in the question. Second thing, angle ABP is equal to angle ACP. This is also given in the question. And third, AP is common for both the triangle. So we have compared here one side, then one more side and angle. So by side side angle rule, triangle ABP is congruent to triangle ACP, and because these two triangles are congruent to each other, therefore by CPCT we can write BP is equal to CP. BP is equal to CP, and we can write angle BAP is equal to angle CAP. This angle and this angle also will be equal, and because these two angles are equal, so AP is the bisector for this angle. So therefore, AP bisects angle BAC. This is second part. Next, we have question number thirteen. In the adjoining figure, D and E are point on the side BC of triangle ABC such that BD and EC are equal, AD and AE are equal. We have to show that these two triangle, triangle ABC and triangle ABD and triangle ACE are the 
congruent triangle so first of all in this triangle we will take these two sides are equal so these two angle will be equal because ad is equal to ae so we can say angle ade is equal to angle aed if we take these two angle as x then angle adb will be 180 minus x and angle aec also will be 180 minus x this angle will be 180 minus x and this one also will be 180 minus x it means these two angles are equal now we will take these two triangle and we will prove that these are congruent so in triangle abd and triangle ace first of all ad is equal to ae it is given in the question second angle adb is equal to angle aec both are equal one eighty minus x and third we can take bd is equal to ec this is also given in the question so therefore by side angle side rule we have compared one side and in between angle then another side by side angle side rule triangle abd is congruent to triangle ace next question number 14th a part in the given figure cde is an equilateral triangle this is an equilateral triangle it means all these three sides are equal form on a side cd of a square abcd and this abcd is a square it means these four sides are equal now we have to show that triangle ade and triangle bc E are the congruent triangle and then this triangle is an isosceles triangle so first we will focus on these two triangles in triangle ADE and triangle BCE first we can take AD is equal to BC and we can take DE is equal to EC these things are given in the question second we can take from this because it is an equilateral triangle so this angle will be 60 degree this angle will be 60 degree because it is a square so here it will be 90 degree and this will be 90 degree so we can see here angle ade and angle bce are also equal both are equal to 90 plus 60 equal to 150 degree so by side angle side rule triangle ade is congruent to triangle bce and because these two triangles are congruent then other remaining corresponding angles and side will be equal so we can say therefore by cpct ae is equal to be and if ae and be are equal it means this triangle is an isosceles triangle so we can say ae -E, -E b is an isosceles triangle next question number 14 b part in the given figure o is a point in interior of the square such that o a b is an equilateral triangle it means these three sides are equal and because it is a square so all remaining four sides are also equal because this is an equilateral triangle so all the three angles will be equal 60 60 60 this total is 90 here to here it is 60 total is 90 means this remaining will be 30 degree same thing here this is 60 and this will be 30 degree now we have to show that this triangle OCD is an isosceles triangle so we will take this triangle triangle 
AOD and triangle BOC and we will prove that these two triangles are congruent to each other. So in these two triangle first of all we can take AD is equal to BC. It is given in the question because ABCD is, an, is a square. Second thing it is given AO is equal to BO. This is also given because triangle AOB is an equilateral triangle. Third, we can take angle OAD is equal to angle OBC. These two angles are equal, both are equal to 30 degree. Just now we have calculated. By calculation. So we can say here by side angle side rule triangle AOD is congruent to triangle BOC and these two triangles are congruent it means re rest of the corresponding part will be same so by CPCT we can say DO is equal to OC therefore by CPCT DO is equal to OC if these two sides are equal means this triangle is an isosceles triangle so therefore triangle OCD is an isosceles triangle. Next we have question number 15. In the given figure ABC is a right angle triangle with AB equal to AC. Bisector of angle A meet BC at D. Prove that BC is equal to 2D. So these two sides are equal. This angle is 90 degree and AD is the bisector for this bisector means it is dividing this angle into half half. So 45 here, 45 here. So first we will take these two triangle and we will show that these two triangles are congruent to each other. So in triangle ADC and triangle ADB First of all we can take AC is equal to AB it is given in the question. Second we can take angle CAB is equal to angle BAB BAD this is D BAD and both are equal to 45 degree. Third we can take AD is equal to AD it is common for both the triangles. So by side angle side rule triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ADP and because these two triangles are congruent so therefore by CPCT we can say BD is equal to DC this side and this side will be equal now we will take this triangle in this triangle in triangle a D C we will find out the angle C in triangle A B C we will take in triangle A B C this is 90 degree these two sides are equal because A B is equal to A C so we can say angle B is equal to angle C both will be equal to 45 degree so this angle will be 45 and this angle will be 45. So we can say here these two are equal it means these two side will be equal therefore in triangle ADC AD is equal to BD. So now we have to prove that BC is equal to 2 AD we will focus here BC is this side B to C is here which we can write as BD plus DC. BD and DC both are equal. So in place of DC I can write BD only because we have proved here from 1 then it will become 2BD. BC is equal to 2BD and from this second one we can replace this BD with AD because we have to prove it 2AD. So BC is equal to 2AD. from 2. So we got this result this we have to prove. 
so this exercise has completed hope you understood all these questions keep on practicing thank you for watching this video